a special thank you to Rick from Space Coast Wood Turners. He uh, gave me a clamp the other day that's for making uh, cowboy hats. And I uh, didn't know what I was getting into when I said, yeah, I'll take that. Well, I got it. And then I figured out, now I got to do this, 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 and this. But we're going to go through that as we go. It, But thanks anyways. Got me to it. But uh, this is my first one ever. So we'll see what it does. I have to turn my overhead light on. It's a little bit harder to see on the camera, but it's easier for me to see. This is a piece of laurel oak. Now, I don't even know if you can make cowboy hats out of oak, but it's what I've got, so that's what we're going to use. This came from a tree out in front of our yard that we had taken down. All right, first thing we're going to do is get this baby into round so we know we got to deal with. This may be a video showing you how not to do this. What I'm doing is I'm copying Johansson. Oh, I should have wrote his name down. I'm going to have to get that. John Johansson, that's what he would say. Um, I'm going to start this baby off at maybe 300. See how she spins. I'm using a Gal Nova Galaxy DVR 1644. Uh, it is a one and three quarters horse is at 115, but I took it up to 220, which gives you another 30% of power. 300. Hey, that's not bad. We'll work that one down. She's not bad. The worst thing about this is the fact that it's a chainsaw cut right here. And I got to go in that far to get rid of that. My chainsaw cut's gone. So that's where I'm stopping. This is going to get cleared out this way. That was nice. That one happened pretty quick. We're going to clear out this side. We need to get the bark off of this. And then we're going to put a tenon on the back side. Every little bit I take off of here lowers the hat, and I wanted to keep it as tall as possible. But we gotta get rid of the bark. There it is. That'll be our tenon. That should get rid of our bark there. In theory, that's the top of my hat. That is the rim of my hat. So whatever that measurement is right there, which we'll get in a little bit, that's all set to go. We're running at 500 RPMs, and I'm gonna do is flatten out the out the backside here, so I know what I'm working with. Like I said, we're just having fun. Uh, I got to admit, this is fun. All right, I've got that down to about... Mm, just under a quarter, so she's about 3 sixteenths right now. That's crazy. We're going to gently put our chuck on here and try to get it as perfect as possible.
Whoa! I gotta admit, it was fun up until then, how the light was coming through, and hey, oh boy, that's really working great, look at that. I appreciate my wife uh, modeling my new hat, and uh, <laughs> we had fun with it. I learned a lot, I did have a lot of fun in the lathe making this, I just, it was my fault 100%, I put the tool in wrong when I, and it blew apart. But I glued it back together and then I put it in the clamp as I wanted to see what I could do to it to make it warp a little bit to get the sides of the hat to curve up. And I used rubber bands and I got a picture of that also here. So you you can see how I did that. And uh, it, it, it worked. It worked. I just, the wood itself, I don't know if oak is a good wood to use because it cracked everywhere. I mean, I got cracks running down right straight through. It goes all the way across the top and down the back, but still a lot of fun. The next piece of wood I'm going to try is cucumber, and I have that. I have quite a supply of that, actually, and uh, there's pieces of that are 20, 20 inches across and 24 inches across, so I should be able to get some hats out of that if it's not too dry. 